things you wouldn't hear on a science documentary. My favourite element is helium. I can't speak highly enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> the solar system is so vast that it could comfortably accommodate your mum. <laughs> The most fascinating thing is, if you really spend enough time looking at the alignment of the stars, your wife will leave you. <laughs> they call it dark matter. Well, whatever it is, I've tried to flush it four times and it's still bloody there. <laughs> the light from this new, distant planet takes so long to get here that we're actually seeing things that happened years ago. And that's why scientists have named it Dave. <laughs> Tonight, we're discussing sports science. Is it a real job or is it just P.E. when it's raining? <laughs> in our next experiment, we're going to prove that putting Dara O'Brien in a room full of young people still doesn't make science interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got the points. <laughs> <laughs> so, if we look through the telescope, we can see the biggest black hole ever found. Oh, no, I've left the lens cap on. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't D Ream shit? <laughs> Does your granny stairlift work? Well, it's all to do with nanotechnology. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, Nigel, that's not how you make a test tube, baby. Get your penis out of the test tube. <laughs> so this is amazing, right? So what you're saying is that somewhere, Professor Cox, in a parallel universe, there is a me with hair. That's right, Dara. Uh...